Jim, talk about what it meant to you, you guys to dominate how you did a rival like them again. And give us an update on Operation Michigan State uh, inside that locker room after 48 hours. Um, I mean, that was good, you know, to come out and play uh, the way we did. I think, you know, we still could have done a lot of things better. Um, we finished with 24 turnovers. Like, we could have done a lot better, but nonetheless, um, you know, it was good to come out here and just take care of business and not mess around with the game. And as far as Michigan State goes, uh, I think everybody in this organization kind of pissed off. Michigan <laughs> <laughs> State won. Um, just for the simple fact, they'll never hit the end of it for me. So, you know, it's us against the world, baby. <laughs> I know there's a lot going on in the course of a game, but are you able to really like recognize and appreciate what Demarcus has done to Jokic the last two times you guys have played those guys? Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> smile on my face, you know, just you know, watching Cuz talk and you know, obviously backing up the talk he's doing on the floor with the play. But um, you know, he's dominated that matchup these last couple times, and you know, it's good to see. Uh, that's you know, you kind of go at every guy who. You know, after, since his injury, a lot of people try to put some guys before him. He's going to every one of them. So, you know, it's, it, it's, it's personal for him. And when you can kind of back that up with the talent that he had, it's especially to watch. Hey, Jeremiah, how much do you sense from <coughs> yourself and resilience of the boy to try to secure the number one seed at any of the Ah, 